Hi there! Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will introduce you to the rootkit paradox, and I will explain why it's an important concept to understand when learning digital forensics. Rootkits are a type of malware that are specially designed to ensure that it remains hidden and undetected for a long period of time. However, in order for the rootkit to perform its intended tasks, it must execute code and interact with the operating system. This means that even a well-designed rootkit will inevitably generate traces of its execution. This is what the rootkit paradox is all about. Malware can hide, but it must run. The rootkit paradox can be extended to all types of malware. Even if malware has been carefully designed to evade detection, you can always recover forensics artifacts of its execution. That's why we say malware can hide, but it must run. We're referring to the fact that malware can try to conceal itself, but since it must run, it can never completely avoid leaving forensics traces that an investigator can find. Whenever a malicious executable runs on a Windows machine, it generates entries in event logs. A prefetch file is created for it. An entry is created in the AMCache registry file, amongst many other traces. That's why we recommend that you develop a checklist of all the forensics artifacts malware commonly generates when it runs. Some malware are designed to exist and operate only from memory. In that case, performing memory forensics will help you uncover it. Even when malware uses advanced evasion techniques, it must still run. I encourage you to read a research paper titled Exploiting the Rootkit Paradox with Windows Memory Analysis by Jesse Kornblum. He is the person who discovered the rootkit paradox. His research paper has interesting information about how you can analyze rootkit behavior using memory forensics. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCS, a YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!